students, welcome to the Okine Reptile Girl with me, Annalise. Today we are going to be doing a quick video on some of the things that I think make being a reptile keeper a lot easier. Maybe you're already using these tools, or maybe they'll be one of, become one of your favorite tools too. Ready to find out what makes being a reptile keeper a little bit easier? Let's find out! If you are going to keep reptiles, there are a few absolute must-have items. These are non-negotiable. Things like a water bowl, heat source, hides, enclosure, stuff like that. All of this should be outlined in the research you did. You did remember to do your research, right? Of course you did, because you are a responsible pet owner. Today though, I'm going to be talking about some lesser known tools that make keeping snakes and reptiles so much easier. My first pick for tools that make being a reptile keeper so much easier is a good quality sprayer. Adding water to your reptile's enclosure is a very important part, as many reptiles require much higher humidity levels than your ambient humidity in your house. And after a few months of using this regular sprayer, this, is a lifesaver. First of all, this is way more convenient. It needs to be refilled less often, so you're not making so many more trips to the closest water source. Your hand and arm are quite pleasantly happy as they are not as sore from using the spray. And much faster just holding down this button or locking it into place to keep propelling out water than it is to constantly have to do the spraying. It also has an adjustable stream, that way you can have either a fine spray for adding some nice water into the air, like humidity, or it can have a nice fine thin spray that is more direct, that way you can water plants without soaking the entire soil. And lastly, this is readily available. We got ours at Home Depot for around $25, so they're pretty okay for cost too. My next pick is a temperature gun. Having some sort of temperature measurement or control in your enclosure is a must have. A thermostat is critical to avoid burns if you are using an under tank heat source. These little plastic deweys aren't 100% accurate, but are good for letting you know if the overall ambient temperature of your enclosure is okay for your reptiles. But neither this or a thermostat will tell you the specific temperature of the hot end versus the basking platform or even the cool end of their enclosure. This is where the temperature gun comes in. What is the temperature on the cool side of the tank? Wham! 79.3 degrees. The hot side? Pow! 89 degrees. What about that branch that Hobbs likes to bask on that's a little closer to the light? Bam! 104.5. You get the idea. This tool gives you valuable information about your reptile's home so that you can adjust your temperatures to make your pet's home as perfect as possible. It's not just about their tank either. If you have a picky eater, <coughs> Monty, <coughs> you can use this to make sure that their frozen thawed rat or mouse is the right temperature. Giving your snake a bath, yep, you can use this to make sure that the water temp is the perfect temperature. And as a bonus, you can use the laser aiming feature as a laser toy for your cat. My next pick for a useful tool is a big old pile of pennies. I learned how useful these things were from Emily over at Snake Discovery. It only takes a couple of days for bacteria to grow in your snake's water dish and for all the slides and the bottom to get all slimy and gross and it probably doesn't taste very good for your reptile either.
Hey, yeah. Hmm. So, since copper is naturally antibacterial, leaving one of these in your snake's or reptile's water dish helps prevent the growth of bacteria and keeps their water dish's sides and bottom unslimed. Not just any pennies work, though. They have to be U.S. pennies from 1981 or earlier, or Canadian pennies from 1942 to 1996. Before putting one of these pennies in your water, you want to make sure that they are nice and clean. So, by soaking them in vinegar, this disinfects them and shines them up nicely. Then, you have to rinse them off and you can just put them right into your water dish. And off you go! A word of caution though. In acidic conditions, the copper could leach out of the penny and into the water. So, if your water is unusually acidic, it's probably just best to avoid this tip altogether. But you should be perfectly fine with normal tap water. And as always, you should always do your research before trying something new with your pet. My next pick, snake hooks. These are primarily used for snakes, which is why I guess they're called snake hooks instead of wombat hooks, I guess. Anyways, they can be useful for other reptiles too. Anyone needing to move a large lizard, like say a tagu or a monitor for example, you could probably use this to help. Basically, it's a metal hook which sometimes has this little rubber guard on the hook and a handle and you use it to hook your snake's coils and help maneuver them out of their enclosure. They are great for going back into their hive or hard to reach places and it also gives you a bit of distance from the bitey end of your friend. This is especially useful if your snake is a bit grumpy or you are one of those brave souls who has venomous snakes and for them this is an absolute must have. You can also use this for training purposes. Hobbs, our macklets, is hook trained. If we reach in first without touching him with the hook, he gets a little aggravated and kind of rangy at first, but he does calm down. Giving him a little touch with this lets him know what's about to happen, and that makes him so much more cooperative. It is important to have an appropriate sized hook for your snake. We learned this the hard way when we brought Hobbs home. You can see that video right here. We use this little collapsible hook, which is great for corn snakes, but was not up to the task of hogs. We went out the next day and bought this. This should do us fine for our bigger snakes, at least until Tatupa gets bigger. But that's for later. I hope you found these suggestions as useful as I did. I'd love to hear of any other tips, tricks, or tools you use in the comments below. Thanks for watching me, the All Canadian Reptile Girl, and my new braces. Please don't forget to check out my other videos, and as always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and remember, nurture on nature. See you next time, bye! should be perfectly fine with normal tap laundry's done cut that off oh no <laughs> he's in my shirt wait no he's not yay okay so this is failing miserably <laughs> good job demonstrating the proper use of a snake hook to prevent being attacked by a vicious Mm-hmm.